Ready. Ready. <laughs> Ready. Welcome to another virtual day activity. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how we're gonna make a Memorial Day paper kite. Right now, Pengi's playing with this one, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can make your own right now. We're gonna get started now. So, the first thing that I'm gonna tell you guys is that we're gonna be painting our paper bag with some blue paint. You guys could either use a paintbrush if you have it at home, or you guys could do finger paint. And a fun tip that Miss Farah learned is you guys can put on gloves before the finger painting. That way it makes the mess a lot easier to clean up. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and put on some gloves. You don't have to use the gloves. You can get a little bit messy if you like. We're gonna take our paper bag. We're gonna place it down here. I'm gonna take some paint, give it a quick shake. Ah! All right, and then we're just gonna do a little bit at a time, just like this. And then with your fingers or your paintbrush, you're gonna go ahead and start spreading it out on your paper bag. Nice, deep blue. So to make the process a little bit quicker, Miss Farah is gonna use some magic to get this done. Bam, and now we're done. So we're gonna go ahead, take off these blue little gloves, ditch them over here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our awesome dried, make sure it dries or else your hands will be smurf looking. We're gonna take our bag, we're gonna be using a hole puncher. And we're gonna very carefully at the top, we're gonna give it a small little pinch, hole punch done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ribbon, yarn, string, whatever you have. Do, do, do. All right, so after struggling a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and pull our strings through. And this is what our kite is looking like right now. The next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna get some construction paper and we're gonna cut out some red and white strips. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put them on the outside using glue to secure them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this white one. We're gonna put glue. So after you have glue on it, you're gonna go ahead and place it down, just like that. And you're gonna do the same thing with the red and white and just keep going all around the outside of the back. So our next step, once you go ahead and finish putting all your strips around, you can either cut out white uh, stars or if you have stickers, you're gonna go ahead and stick them on your patriotic paper bag kite. Say it six times fast. Patriotic paper bag, no, I can't do it. We're gonna go ahead and just spread them all around the thing. You guys can add as many as you want. You guys can even draw stuff on it if you'd like. And this is kind of what we're working with right now. This is how we're gonna make it a kite. This is the cool part. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside here. Using a popsicle stick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ribbon and then very, very carefully, we're gonna use a hot glue gun. Maybe, you know, ask mom and dad for help. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put two rows of glue, just like this. When you're done, you're gonna set it off to the side. And then with my ribbon, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press down right here on the glue, just like this. And watch your fingers, because it's a little bit hot. You're gonna give it a quick second to dry. This is what we have so far, and this is what it'll look like once you complete all the steps. Move over. And there you have it, City of Coral Gables, a super patriotic, awesome paper bag kite you guys can make at home for Memorial Day. I'm Miss Farah, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next week for our another virtual day activity. Make sure you hashtag us Play Gables at home. I would love to see you guys flying your awesome kites. Bye.